Good morning everyone, Ben here, and I decided I'm going to make this just a, a video series on my channel rather than live stream in Fallout, so I'm starting a new game. Uh, we'll get to it, I decided I'm going to play as myself, so I did a, as good a job as I think I'm going to do in creating myself in Fallout as, you know, having actually, I don't know, the supposed career that... Uh, the game has already chosen for us, which is military veteran. Uh, I would have liked a more open-ended, but whatever. So, this is me. We're going to be playing as me. Um, yeah, they gave us a spouse character. And, yes, I fiddled with the character to make, uh, to make her look actually what I would like. Deal with it. Yes. So, we're playing Fallout 4. Um... Okay, we're going to confirm our character. I more than likely will not edit things. Oh, yeah, see, and it already auto-saved. Okay, I'm going to turn this damn radio off. Thank you. Ah. Good old US. Yeah, by the way, this this US in the Fallout series, I'll, I'll get to it later. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. Boo. Nice bed, though. But we do need to close this. Yeah, so we got to actually see in, you know, some nice stuff. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One yes. So in the fallout. Yeah. So in the fallout. Grognak the barbarian in the jungle of the bat babies. My favorite. <laughs> and get some coffee. And actually, I prefer mine to be Irish. So I'm actually gonna pour some it's whiskey into that. Drinking. Is it too early to be drinking? So, yeah, by the way, the year is actually... God damn it, wifey. Yeah, so... I'm so proud of her. Yeah, so she... So, yeah, the year is actually 2077 in at the moment in the Fallout universe. So, I'm going to actually sit down and watch some TV while we wait. See, they're talking about the news and all that jazz. So, this took place in an alternate universe where we never invented the transistor and the culture and style of the 1950s um, persisted well into this century. Um, as is pretty obvious, you know, this tiny ranch-style home, uh, blah, 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 Can you yeah, that? that, god damn it, probably that salesman. oop, damn it, that's not what I meant, he comes for you every day. yeah, sorry, need to hit, hit the wrong button, <sighs> okay, so, good morning, vault -Tec calling, uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Yeah. By the way, I'm a lot of... I'm a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. Okay. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Uh, uh, eleven. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, 
So yes, there is a sarcastic option, uh, option to a lot of the dialogue trees here, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna type in my real name. Blah. There we go. So in previous games, you could take all these stats up to five, but oh yeah. But unfortunately, in this game, the best you can do is taking every stat up to four. So, in a lot, in all the older games, I would use four as my baseline for what an average person is in that category. But unfortunately, I cannot do that, so I'm going to drop it down one to three for what an average person is, right? So, I... And the way I like to build players that are based off of myself uh, is to go... is to actually look at this. Uh, pound for pound, I would assume I'm stronger than most people. Um, not super strong or anything, but reasonably strong and the reason why I do this is I was an athlete I wrestled and did martial arts for most of my upbringing As a matter of fact all of my upbringing uh, I ran track and field and my event required a lot of strength conditioning um, I still help move a lot of heavy stuff when needed um, so I would consider myself reasonably more in shape, probably at like a five. Perception, this is kind of my census. I wouldn't consider myself better or worse than average. Maybe my awareness is slightly up because I do pay attention to my surroundings, mostly because I conceal carry, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I'm just going to drop that at average. My endurance, um, well, if you talk to my ex, it's pretty good, but, uh, I'm going to move that and consider myself maybe about average. Um, unfortunately it affects total health, which is not great. I'll come back down. Charisma, well, I do have a growing YouTube channel, uh, I was in the scouts, and for some reason, every time it was time for an election, I was able to attract all the younger scouts to vote for me. Um, and I always do really well with children. And I think one of the easiest ways to determine whether or not you're charismatic is by how um, how well you communicate and how well you're able to keep the attention of children. Only uh, charismatic people can do that. Uh, intelligence, I would like to think I'm smarter than the average person. Uh, it's not like I'm going for my second degree or anything. Plus, I like to read up on just about every topic I can. Um, I'm not going to go too high on that because I don't consider myself that much above average in that. Agility, I mean, my event was the pole vault, so... I would consider myself probably slightly above average. Uh, yeah. Luck is not something I want to play with. But I wouldn't consider myself more or less lucky than the average person. So I think this is a reasonable guesstimation of what my special stats would be. Which, by the way, is strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Um, this is kind of just the way of, yeah. So I'm actually going to go ahead and accept that. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. And so long as we don't have to pay. Thanks right? again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork. Hey, for not. you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> 
Good answer. I mm -hmm. have my moments. Hey, hon. Nervous? Don't be. Mr. Everyone's gonna love this beach. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you heard it's actually kind of it's actually kind of funny. Uh, they recorded a ton of dialogue for uh, that particular character, so that you could actually hear your own name uh, spoken back to you. Okay. Yeah, these are gonna have to deal and do until we get an ICBM for him to be scared of. <laughs> guy. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. What? The weather should hold up. I hope it's like that time a year ago. <laughs> Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Why? Okay, why? Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost what contact with our affiliate stations. Um, we need to get going, I oh, think. We, have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed we reports. We should grab the. See, it wasn't too early. Pennsylvania. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. This is where the Fallout part of the Fallout series comes in. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. Okay, I'm gonna run with you. Come on. I'm not letting you. I'm not running to the vault without you. Yeah. So obviously, in I I would probably make sure they got in there before me, because, eh, uh -uh. you know I. I don't believe in leaving family behind. You don't get in. Oh, piss off. You can't stop me. Sir. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Yeah, they were about to shoot me if I went in. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. I see. If I were them, I would have just let them in. But no, they had to be on the list. See, that's Sir, just we need disgusting. To send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Step on the platform in the center. Here we go. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, at least we're. Hold on. Yep. Stood there and watched it like a boss. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. In the Fallout series, you can read up, you know, on what actually happened, but the U.S. and China were at war in the 2070s, and all of a sudden, everybody thought it was essentially at peace, and then... It Everyone didn't step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A mm -hmm. better future underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, we don't no. be. Don't get well, thinking about yeah. That. You're Something safe. happened and everybody everyone, nuked everyone. If you had them, you there. sent them at your enemies to settle old scores or to get back or whatever. Male. Just this way. This one's good. Female and step over to the table. Take a suit. Okay. Just step over. Oh, why? Down the hallway right there. Pick up a suit right over there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Good. All right, you three. Follow me. Okay. See? This is our new home. 
Oh, you're gonna I don't trust this. this My spidey sense is tingling. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in DC. Yeah, I really don't like this. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Yeah, I really don't like this. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Yeah. Decontamination pod. Um... Now, in real life, I would say these don't look like decontam pods. These look like cryogenic pods. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Aww. There he is, see? I also hate the vault suits, by the way. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you. Before we head deeper in the vault. Yeah, I totally believe that. No, in real life, I... In real life, I would probably only notice right about now and realize I'm boned. <laughs> so, the truth is... Most of the vaults were horrible, horrible social experiments. Um, as we'll find out later in the game, because you can explore a few others in this game. Uh, conducted by the company Vault Tech, as well as the people who ordered and constructed the vaults, um, which was a very weird faction of the U.S. government in this universe that uh, thought that if things went nuclear, they would be they would be the only ones fit to re to uh, repopulate the earth so in many ways they also turn genocidal with this okay so we're slightly unfrozen but we can't move well we can move but we can't do anything we can't even get out What the f- I'm not giving you shot! I don't know who you are, or where you live, sir, but you just angered someone. Someone with a particular set of skills. And I will use those skills to find you, and when I find you, I will kill you. <laughs> Yeah, that... Uh, okay, so I need to remember Scar, left eye, bald, and essentially wearing what looked like... Uh, <coughs> like a 50s New York gang with metal plate on his arm. Really weird. If I had to guess... Uh, okay, so... I. Uh, Cool, okay. Oh, uh, whoa, let's take it easy there, buddy. You've been frozen for some time. Not sure how long, but... Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! There we oh, go. God. Okay, come on, come on. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. And I will kill the fucker who killed you. Okay, so... Time for some backup. Let's get out of this cold room first. I don't even care. Well, let's let's check to see if there's anything. I, I won't open up that computer. I don't... Uh, there's nothing in there that, that's worth it. Is there anything in here that might be worth it? Clipboard... To take that, why not? Might be useful. Okay, so the backstory for my character is that uh, he was a veteran. 
and that's uh, get, that's given to us by the game. Let's take all these tools. I might be able to swing one of them at something, at least until I find something. Damn it. Okay, so. What the fuck? Okay, that worries me. Um, okay. Gigantic fucking cockroaches. Yeah, that's a little worrying. Well, I, I don't want the cigs, but... Ooh. Stim pack. Okay, so stim pack is... Um, this game's healing device. You know what? I may as well just take that. At least I have this. And... I'm going to just kind of joke around that he was uh, a sniper, so that way I can make an excuse for sneaking ha all the damn time, because I can't army crawl, but this actually helps. Okay, so there's nothing in here, but I do need to be careful. Giant roaches? What the hell? Okay, so this is a little less realistic. Um, cockroaches wouldn't get that big unless there's a lot more oxygen in the air. Um, you would need maybe 20 to 30% to get a roach that size. And from a game design perspective... Uh, notice how they had the giant cockroach to draw your eyes over there to the weapon that was sitting on the table. And in case you missed that, they put a weapon right here um, before the uh, other one. As well as, I played this before so I know what this is. If I stand up here, I can drink out of this. And this is actually a healing mechanic in the game is consumables like food, water, etc. So that's a healing mechanic. Okay, we'll take a coffee cup. Um, also, this game is basically first-person looter. So I'm going to take all of this. A lot of these materials will be useful. Um, there's no reason to enter that. I mean, I guess you could make an argument that there is, but I disagree. Um... Okay, I don't actually want to do that, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to do that. Beer bottle. Coffee cup. Beer bottle. Beer bottle. Okay, so I'm going to be uploading these uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so we can go through here. So watch that. That one gets electrocuted, so I obviously don't want to go through that middle portion, right? So, the way I'm going to do that... <laughs> Notice we've got the uh, gigantic cockroach over there. And I'm going to move while he is over behind a walkway. Now, obviously, I do need to be careful. There we go. And... Dang it. Yeah, getting hit isn't fun, but... Now, notice how it showed something red. When I heal back up to full... What happened here? Yeah. Where is everyone? By the way, there's going to be some roaches in here, yeah. Uh, but... Unfortunately, you sometimes just can't avoid getting hit. 
to notice they add water here. See, now watch. It's going to bring me up to, to almost full, but I have some radiation damage. Okay, so there's nothing in here, clearly. Okay, cool. Well, I will take the stem packs. And it even told you how much it heals. Uh, dang it. I just knocked the pistol down to the ground. I'm just... I'm surprised it didn't go off. There must be a drop safety in this thing, and that's nice. Okay, so, oh, I can't test my inventory because guess what? Ooh, there's another 10 millimeter pistol. Nice. Take that. Oh, nice. baby, I am coming back for that. For you. Okay, we'll take bobby pin, nuka cola. Oh, that's just a bottle. Dang it. I was hoping there would be a coke line. <laughs> Flying around, just waiting for me to use it. And more 10 millimeter. that's nice. I like that. Is this all that's left? Probably. Oh, nice, and I'm going to pick up the glasses. Because that's... That I, I have glasses. Uh, open evacuation tunnel. I don't... I mean, I've read all the stuff, and normally I would. But... In real life, I wouldn't care what happened. I would just want to get out. And plus, I need the glasses anyway, so. Chamber around. Now, unfortunately... Wow, really? Now see, that's the correct way to handle things. You want to minimize yeah and double tapping is also a good idea oh I guess there's nothing in here that's good Good shot, good shot. Well, I need to get out. Uh, okay, so this is the part of the game where we get our pit boy. Um, now, this is going to be longer for most ep than most episodes I'm going to do with this series. Um, In reality, I'm most of these are going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to try not to make them super long. But I also want to make... Um, okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to affect my hot bar. There we go. Let's go to aid. And this actually goes in three because that is where I'm going to use it most. So there's actually a um, re there's a logic to my hot bar setup. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do this longer is just because I kind of want to show you what the world now looks like in. Yeah. I at least want to get the doggo before we, um...
before we head out into the wasteland, or to use a fancy word before we perambulate. Um, <laughs> but I'm actually glad my computer can actually handle playing this game. Okay. Now, obviously, I want to stand way clear of that thing while it does that. Yep. Good, good, good. And... There we go. And it's even sending the elevator now, which is good. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. We're going to exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. But, yeah, so, as I said, most of the vaults were horrible, horrible, horrible social experiments. Um... But... Now we're out, and this is what the post-apocalyptic world looks like. It doesn't look too bad, to be quite honest. So that's, that's our neighborhood right there. Now... In case you don't know, this takes place in the Boston, actually in, yeah, in the Boston area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Molotov cocktail. Okay, Radix, that's good. Stim pack a rat away and a blood pack. That'll be useful. Um, we're going to take the wrench. Oh, yeah, I should probably queue that up to, actually, no, no. Don't. I will equip that for the sake of... Uh, no. Focus, investigate our home. Go home. Did I miss a building? No, I didn't. Okay. And more skeletons. Take all of that. Take the desk fan. Food. Ammunition. That's that's really useful. I'll take the ashtray, though. I don't smoke, and I definitely won't be in this game. Now, I never know what could be around the next hill. So, I need to sneak. Yes, I know how to sprint game. Not that stupid. Harvestable fruit, I'll take that. So, I'm kind of a survivalist, or at least an outdoorsman. I like to boost my survival skills. I like to read that type of material. I would like to think I'd do reasonably well, provided I didn't get snuck up on. There you go, some experience. And notice how little experience that was, yet it raised our bar significantly. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> You're still out here? As I live and breathe. Oh, yeah, so we have a robot companion. I'm going to finish this con... I'm going to finish searching the neighborhood and then end the episode, okay? Um, you're still God, here. You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wipes see you in that state. Hmm? Let's 
yeah, she's she's in a better place. She's in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. I'm more of a chess person, not a checkers person. Checkers was solved, I think, in the early 2000s as a draw. Um... Yeah. Well, since you're a robot butler, um... Sean's been kidnapped. Yeah. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. Most people, I probably won't be this up front. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years, you said? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Oh, okay. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> I mean, uh, that would be appreciated. Uh, that would be appreciated, to be quite honest. Uh, but are you okay? You seem a little weird. <laughs> a little bit weird. What's wrong? Also, speech checks are nice. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets up. Nothing. Okay. Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car. How do you polish rust? Uh, yeah. Stay, Stay with, with me, buddy. I'm afraid I don't know. Sorry about the yawning. <laughs> the bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. Mm -hmm. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. Mm -hmm. Then, well, everything happened. Okay. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Yeah, I highly doubt that, but sure, All right. whatever. Lead the way. I'm going to go ahead and go into sneak. What? And tarnations? Well, perhaps I can get some meat. Bottle cap. Okay. See, I'm a decent shot. Mr. Ben. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Benjamin. The missus and young Sean. Yeah. They aren't here. It's okay, you did what Thanks you could. For trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> they sound like fun. I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure <laughs> you. 
Sorry, I, I enjoy sarcasm a bit too much at times. Bottle caps. Why are, Why do you random flies have bottle caps? And why are bottle caps important or even a good thing to have? Uh, and again, first... Ooh, nice. There's a safe. Okay, so I need to be careful. Because... I like being able to pick locks. Damn it! I would also like to find some clothes that are not this damn vault suit. Because they took my clothes when they, uh... Well, you know froze us. Hmm. A workshop. Okay. Okay, we're going to exit that. And I want to see if I can find some clothes before... That might actually be presentable. Let's check our own house first. <gasps> uh, what would actually be good to boost? Uh, let's boost strength. Let's go over here, see if there's some... Man, what did me and the wifey do before the bombs fell? Jesus. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to drop off all my junk. Not what I wanted. And then we're going to go to our inventory. Put on our eyeglasses. And we're going to put that on. And then just to... Oh, damn it, that's not what I meant. Okay, yeah, see, that is presentable. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and have a nice day. By the way, these are going to be on Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Along with my regular election content on normal days. Anyway, take it easy, guys. See you next time. Bye.